worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. A pleasant morning to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to another reflection. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, we worship you for the gift of life. We humble ourselves before your throne of mercy. Clothe us with righteousness. Feed us with the bread of heaven. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The theme of our reflection this morning is no room for separation. And the Bible passage is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by Matthew chapter 19, verses 1 to 9. Now it came to pass, when Jesus had finished this saying, that he departed from Galilee and came to the region of Judea beyond the Jordan, and great multitude followed him, and he healed them there. Then the Pharisees also came to him, testing him, and saying to him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for just any reason? And he answered and said to them, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning, made them male and female? And he said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command to give a certificate of divorce? and to put her away. He said to them, Moses, because of the hardness of your hearts, permit you to divorce your wives. But from the beginning, it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for sexual immorality, and marries another, commits adultery. And whoever marries her, who is divorced, commits adultery. This is the word of the Lord. The theme again is no room for separation. The most attacked institution today is the marriage institution. This is a calculated attempt by the devil to destabilize the family, which is the building block of the society. Such words as single mother, separated baby mama, that are alien to the scripture are now found in our daily dictionary. God's plan for marriage is that of cleaving and living together, which will remain as lives endures. Hence, the Christian definition of marriage should be a lifelong union between a man and woman who consent to live together. Jesus' first response to the Pharisees who came with the question of divorce is a reminder of God's plan as found in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. Separation or divorce is a stench to God. He hates divorce. Malachi chapter 2, verse 16. God who sees the end from the beginning hates divorce because of its effect on the society. This includes emotional trauma to the parties, breaking of the covenant of marriage, the negative effect on the children. It also encourages or gives room for adultery, which is sin. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Seeking the purpose of God for marriage, young people should pray earnestly and seek God's direction in choosing a life partner. However, with the spate of domestic violence in recent times to the point of killing one's partner, couples going through domestic violence and abuse should seek help first from God in prayer as well as from experienced and spiritually inclined leaders. Dearly beloved, no matter what the situation may be, God has the power to heal your own. Take your problem or challenge to God in prayer and you will experience a change for better. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Divorce is not an option because God hates divorce. Our memory verse is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by Matthew chapter 19 verse 6. So then they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together let no one separate. Let us pray. Lord heal my own and help me to understand your purpose for my marriage. In Jesus mighty name amen as you set out this morning i pray your marriage will reflect the beauty and the glory of god in jesus name amen